<laughs> oh my gosh. So you guys got to see a sneak peek of me taking the thumbnail. That was horrible. <laughs> What's up, beautiful people? We are back in the kitchen. I'm so excited. I get so excited about these cooking videos. You have no clue. I will give, I'll give everybody a few seconds to hop on. Um, I made an announcement on Instagram that I was going live. So I'm hoping some of the Instagram peeps will join us over here on YouTube, which will be so fun. And it's Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. I hope that you got to spend some virtual time with your family and everyone is having a beautiful day because obviously Easter is a beautiful moment to celebrate. Um, your girl has I'm excited to cook. Um, what am I making today? If you didn't notice on the uh, video caption, I am making a lemon butter chicken. I'm gonna be making a lemon butter chicken and a rice that's gonna be infused with a little bit of rosemary, which I think is gonna be delicious. Um, and I'm gonna bake a cake later. I will not take you guys through that process because it's just gonna take way too long, but I thought at least I would share the, the cooking with you. Hey, what's up, peeps? Oh, look at that. Everybody's on. Happy Easter. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed their day. What am I doing here? All right, we're cooking. We're going to have fun cooking. Oh, wait, let me put the... Wait, is the live chat on? Oh, I guess it is. Oh, wait, there we go. Live chat. Hey, what's up? So now I can hear from you guys. So you know how we do. Drop your name and where you are tuning in from down in the comments right now so I can say hello. Um, and also, because it's Easter, everybody drop a, I don't know, Easter bunny or Easter egg or something. Hey, what's up, Chicago? Chicago. So, what have I got going right now? I have a pot of water boiling, which I'm going to add a little bit more water to because I've, like, been talking and I'm sure this is starting to evaporate. So, I have a pot of water with two cups of water boiling i've added a tablespoon of butter to that that is going to be for our rice and i am so bad at making rice i cannot even tell you guys like i i had a um what's up georgia happy easter everybody yeah um okay so i'm really bad at boiling rice so this right here will be interesting but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pray. We're gonna pray over, it's Easter. God, please let the rice come out good. Um, so I have some rice, some water going for my rice, which I'm going to infuse with a little rosemary from my rosemary bush. What's up? Do you want a, to get a rice cooker? Yes, I need a rice cooker for sure. In the back, I have another little mini pot of water coming to a boil. That is going to actually be for my broth. Now. I don't know if any of you guys have seen this product in stores, but it's called Better Than Boolean. It's basically broth mix. So it's a super concentrated broth. And I noticed that you can actually get this in all different flavors. So I'm using the vegetable because um, it's just easier to start that way. And then you can add everything else. So this with this product, how it works is you can use this as a replacement to having fresh stock always because that's always an issue like to remember to buy it. But you get this, so you use a tablespoon, right? Oh, teaspoon. So one teaspoon equals a bouillon cube or an eight ounce can of stock. So I'm going to actually infuse this into the boiling water that's in the back and that will be our stock that was needed for this recipe. And I have a pan heating up in the front, which we're gonna use for our chicken. So what do we need? We need for this recipe, chicken thighs. I've had my chicken thighs sitting uh, in a brine mixture, a little salt, pepper. There's some uh, Italian seasoning in there, complete seasoning on that. So that's done. I've cleaned it and everything. Also, another tip, clean your meat before you start to cook and don't use soap and water. <laughs> Do you guys remember that video when the guy like cooked, like cleaned his chicken with Dawn soap? It was hilarious. Anyways, use vinegar. Yeah, use vinegar to clean your chicken or any meat. And so that's what I have here. We're going to use one fresh lemon. It's gonna be squeezed in there. We're gonna use garlic. You can use as much or as little as you like. I like a lot of garlic, so I'm gonna do that. What's up, Richard? Hi, how are you? Oh my gosh, look at that. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna make, we'll see, we'll see about that. Um, 
I have some spinach and actually, I don't know about you guys, but I went to the grocery store and there was like no fresh produce. It was crazy. What's, oh my God, what's up, Missy? I'm so happy to see you joined. Um, so I luckily had some packets of spinach in the freezer. So I'm going to use those because you need about a cup of spinach. I have heavy whipping cream that's gonna be added just to give it a little bit of creaminess to it. And I'm going to add some, you love spinach, me too. I love spinach. So I was so disappointed that there was none in the stores. How is it over there in the UK, Richard? Let me know. Um, how are things, like are you guys getting back to normal yet? Grocery shopping, just the atmosphere, how are things going? So um, I'm gonna also be adding some capers in at the end because I like capers what else oh and some fresh it's over the top in my opinion I know but it's keeping us safe right better safer than sorry garlic but exactly okay and last but not least we're gonna use some fresh um, shredded Parmesan okay so as I do you know I'm gonna keep up with the chat and I'm gonna try not to burn my food all at the same time so boiling water butters in there I'm going to take and add one cup of dry rice to two cups of boiling water, butter. I'm going to add some salt. And because salt, because rice needs a little bit more salt, I'm actually gonna use salt from the container versus grinding it. This is still natural sea salt. I like your light in the corner. Oh, that's four. So I'm growing herbs. I have to, I know, put the disclaimer out there. So I'm just gonna add about a teaspoon of salt to the water just gonna help it cook make sure it doesn't stick I'm gonna add the top back on so that will bring it back to a boil once it comes to the boil then I'm gonna turn it down to low that's what we're doing for our rice now we have we're waiting on the bouillon water to come to a boil once that happens we'll add our teaspoon of mix to that my pan for the chicken should be nice and hot, so I'm gonna start frying my chicken thighs. So Richard, that is actually my herb light. So I have some uh, rosemary and basil over there, and so it's trying to stay alive <laughs> with, the, with the light. So I'm gonna add a little olive oil to the pan. Our pan should be nice and hot. And we're gonna toss in the chicken thighs. Did everybody enjoy Easter? Like, what did you guys do today? Let me know. And I'm gonna, just a note, I'm going to start this in the frying pan, and then I'm gonna move it over to my, um, oh my goodness, Dutch, Dutch pot. Where'd you get the light from? Because I'm trying to grow. Okay, so I got that on Amazon. Um, and it actually is really impressive. So that light, I think I paid, this pan is a little hot, so I'm gonna let it cool a little bit. Um, <laughs> we'll see. Um, yes, ma'am. You didn't do much. Okay, yeah, I know. I, it was so weird not getting dressed up and like, you know, heading out to church today. I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna fib. It really was weird. Um, we, we watched service uh, in my bed, which was nice. Oh, that's nice. That is really nice that you did an Easter egg hunt despite everything that's going on. I love it. Um, yeah, it was weird. But I will say, so what I go to when I'm doing like virtual church, I listen in to Elevation. I love Pastor Furtick. He's amazing. And what he did today was what I needed. It was phenomenal. And so I did that. Now I'm going to take these chicken thighs and I'm gonna start pop popping them in the hot oil. There we go. I have that, just so you guys know, I have the pan on three right now, just because it was a little hot. And these chicken thighs are being cooked with skin on too. That's another thing. What else does it say? What food do you, oh goodness, sorry, I'm rumbling you guys around because I'm trying to see what the comments say. I missed your comment, I'm sorry. Okay, wait, now we're like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Here we go, are we back? I don't know. So, skin, skin is left on the chicken thighs. 
they're in the pan frying up something good i missed those comments that went by so if you dropped a question and let me know have you ever been to another country other than america yes i've actually been to a few countries other than america and my favorite place in the whole wide world i'm gonna think about this i i think the, the my okay disclaimer one of my favorite places in the whole wide world is the uk i love london so i spent two weeks in london uh, visiting a friend and i fell in love i did not want to come back i'm not gonna kid like Kiara and I, my daughter and I, were just talking about this this morning, and we were like, if we could live anywhere else in the world, where would it be? And she said London. So you might see me across the pond. Who knows? But um, yeah, I love, I love the, look at me. I'm like talking to you guys. I completely forgot. Chicken goes in, skin side down. I'm so bad. Just so it gets a nice sear. That's the whole point of this, is just to get a nice crisp on the, on the chicken. So we're going to put that nice, there we go. And let that come on up. I'm going to take it back to four because I do want it to actually cook at some point. London is great. Oxford is the best place in my opinion. Okay, I'll check that out next time. Um, where else have I been that I love? Okay, so we went to this little island called Bonaire. And it is a Dutch island, actually. And it is so beautiful there. Like, another place that i absolutely love is just that little tiny island the people are so nice and let me tell you they have the best salt like i know that's weird but they have the best salt in the world in bonaire it is so good and it's like really good for your skin and it's really good to cook with we brought back like um natural salt from there and it was just delicious so that's another place that i love and why is my water in the back not boiling i think it's because i don't have a top on it hold on uh, what's your favorite place? Everybody drop in there. If you've ever traveled anywhere other than the U.S., drop in the comments and let me know. What's your favorite place to travel? Maybe I'll get some good suggestions. <laughs> that is not healthy. Do not eat salt by the pound. But it is, it is funny that you said that because that, their salt was that good. So my rice has come back to a boil, so now I'm gonna take this and let it, I'm gonna leave it so it's vented and then take it down. DR, yes. Dominican Republic is the bomb. And you're right, the rice and beans in DR are amazing. Um, among everything else, like that's a great place to, yeah, tell me, Kinsley, where, where have you, what's your favorite place, babe? Just tell me. I have never been to Canada. Oh, Spain. Yes. Okay. So once Corona is over, we'll put that on the list for sure. I love architecture too, for real. Travel goals are in London and Spain. Exactly, girl. There you go. Go to London first if you want to go party and like, I don't know. It's just like the culture there is just really cool. Um, and I haven't been to Spain, so I can't comment on that, but it's definitely on my list of places to go. Um, one of my good friends, Katrina, Global Midlife is her, um, midlife, listen to me, Go, Global Midwife is her, um, it's her tag, and she is a huge traveler, so her and her husband travel, um, like once a month, before Corona, obviously, but they travel like once a month to like all these different countries, so if you are really into traveling and you want some inspiration, go check her out, it's Global Midwife, because she's a midwife as well. Um, she's super awesome. Tell her I sent you. <laughs> um, what else? Our rice is going. That's on low now. Maybe our water in the back will come up. Who knows? I don't know if it's going to participate today. And our chicken thighs are going. So, oh, and by the way, I have the oven on 400. So that way it'll be nice and hot when it's ready for our chicken and everything else to go in there. So now we're just waiting on our chicken to fry. Went to San Juan. Oh, beautiful. Yes. Okay. Puerto Rico is also another favorite. I love Puerto Rico. It's beautiful there. Um, Puerto Rico. My really close friend, Eduardo and Carlos, they're from Puerto Rico. And I guess that's, again, that's the U.S., so it's not really like, but it can be considered. Uh, girl, yes. <laughs> that's awesome you know it is something about <laughs> it's leaving me in trouble 
This, there is something about a man with an accent. I don't know. It's just, it's just good. It's just good. So French men are, yes, there you go. A little wee wee. <laughs> Kiara's like, mama, stop. Just stop. <laughs> oh. He's an American basketball player. Okay. Oh, nice. I'll check him out. Thanks, Richard, for the recommendation. Yeah. So we're not cooking this chicken, by the way. We're just getting it so that it, it browns a little bit. So one to two minutes per side and then pop it into the pan where it'll rest for a little bit until we're ready to combine all the ingredients. Yeah. It's so funny. Um, so now I'm just going to take that chicken that's pretty brown on both sides and put it into my Dutch pot. And then I'm going to start the next one, the next round of chicken. I have about six of these to go. Oh, that's so sweet. Yes, like the video. Richard, I forget to ask for that kind of stuff. Yes, like the video. If you're enjoying this, like it. You can share it by clicking the share button. And you can text a girlfriend and say, hey, get on this, get on this, this live. And, um, or you can share the video to Facebook. I appreciate that. Thank you. My channel has been growing so much, and I know it's only because of all of you guys liking and sharing everything, so thank you. Now, next round of chicken is going into the pot, and we'll start that one. Dang it, I missed the comment. You know what? I have to see. This is what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to bribe Kiera, my daughter, to watch the live comments and tell me what people are saying, what you guys are saying, because I miss them when I turn around. <laughs> Okay, I've got two more pieces in the in here. I've got two more pieces to go in the pot, and the pot's pretty pretty full. You guys know I need a large frying pan. As soon as the world opens up, that'll be the first thing. Hey, happy Easter! What's up? I'm so happy that you joined. Yes, we are cooking. We are um, making Easter dinner and chit chatting. Everyone is dropping in the comments since you just joined uh, your name and where you're from where you're logging in from. And if you've ever traveled outside of the US, tell me, you think my daughter looks like me? Stop distracting me. Um, <laughs> if you've ever traveled anywhere outside of the US or you have a favorite place outside of the US, let me know what it is in the comments. We're trying to find places to travel when the world opens back up. So drop that in the comments if you don't mind. I love it. I'm so happy that you guys are on. <laughs> No, flirting does not get you brownie points. No, I'm just joking, but thank you. Yes, I have a 16-year-old, um, actually. She's in the room listening to a webinar of some sort. So, yes, I have a 16-year-old. I have a baby. She's not even a baby. I don't know why I call her my baby. I guess because she'll forever be mine. She's my only. So, if you just joined the live and you're here for cooking, we have the um, chicken thighs are in. Skin side, skin side down. I'm browning those in a pan of olive oil. I'll let those cook for two to three minutes on each side and then flip them. And then they'll come into my Dutch oven pot, which is right here, to rest. I have my rice going in the back that's on a low simmer right now. And you're 34. In Atlanta, I haven't traveled outside of you guys. That's cool. I love Atlanta. Atlanta is super. Oh, look at this. Guess what, guys? Our water started boiling. So now I'm going to take a teaspoon of our better than bouillon mixture and I'm gonna drop that into the hot water in the back. And then that is going to wait for us to combine everything into this one pot that's gonna go into the oven. Atlanta is a super cool city. I love it there. Um, one of my favorite restaurants, and by the way, I'm doing, that's eight ounces of water, one teaspoon. Now, obviously it'd be better if I had measuring spoons but I don't <laughs> because, um, I don't know. I guess when I moved, I forgot to bring all this stuff. So I gotta go buy it. So this is just gonna let the better than bouillon evaporate and create a vegetable stock that we'll come, come out, we'll use as liquid in our Dutch oven. So if you guys have not tried this product and you are looking for an alternative to keeping stock like on the shelves, this is great and you just, you just put it in the, um, <clears throat> oh, 
Oh my God, Richard, it is beautiful there. It is so beautiful. And it's like this little tiny island. It's gonna go to Japan. Oh, nice. My daughter loves Asia, like loves Asia, isn't obsessed with it. So she cannot wait to go. I don't know if I'm as obsessed with it, but I definitely will go. So, um, Bonaire, Richard, it is so beautiful. Let me tell you. First of all, little, little island, very little. Most people haven't heard of it. The water is crystal clear. And when I say crystal, it's like you can, I have never seen water that clear before. And the way that their um, ocean is set up, like the way that the inlet is set up, it's like there's a, I don't know the technical term, but there's like a barrier that protects them from the ocean. So the water is super calm. So, hey, what's up? Hey, New Orleans. Um, happy Easter, sweetheart. So yeah, so Bonaire has that little, like a little enclave, enclave, I don't know. And it protects them from the ocean. So when you go into the water, not only is it crystal clear, but it's super calm and it's just beautiful. And it's a small island. There's a guy on the island that makes fresh tequila out of um, avocado, no, aloe. He uses aloe to make tequila and it is so good. They have like a little market. I'm talking about Bonaire, if anybody else is gone, drop a comment if you love it there. I think it's such a beautiful island. I'm gonna flip the chicken. Oh, Bella, don't cry. Bella, my Frenchie, is sitting by the window, crying because she wants to go outside. She is so funny. Like, some of you guys have met Bella through the lives. So, in our new place, there's, there's a patio and the window, and it's like the back little alleyway where all the dogs go out in the back. Yeah, she's a French dog, French bulldog. Mm hmm and so her friends what like she has like two or three dog friends will come up to the back patio door and like bark and then they to make her come outside it's hilarious um if you follow me on instagram it's at candy's land on instagram you've seen this whole interaction it's hilarious so right now she's sitting at the back window because she wants to go out and make them come outside so she wants me to let her out so she can go run to the neighbor's house and make the dogs come out. It's hilarious. Um, chicken thighs, two, three minutes each side. So I'm gonna put that in the pan very shortly. Just getting it nice and brown. Um, what else? Okay, so you're not late. Never late, don't worry. Um, what we're cooking tonight is a lemon butter chicken with an herb infused rice. And right now, what we've done so far is the rice is simmering down, white rice. I'm going to add some fresh rosemary in there so that it'll get that fragrance. Yes, her, she wants to go play with the doggy congregation, exactly. So I'm gonna add some rosemary in there so it gives it the fragrance infused into the rice. And then I am browning the chicken thighs. So I've browned them on each side two to three minutes in a pan of hot oil and then I've placed them inside of my Dutch oven pot um, just to rest. Everything will then go into this Dutch oven pot very shortly and then we're gonna pop it into the oven and let it finish off cooking. So whole intention of it being in the pan is just to brown it, not to cook it. So you see how it just gets that nice browning on it. Great, just finished. Oh, what'd you make for dinner? Tell me, I'm intrigued. I um, I asked Kira what she wanted for dinner and you guys know she has not been eating meat. So I was like, listen, we are having meat tonight. So you're gonna have to compromise on that. So this is the last two chicken thighs going in skin side down into our olive oil. What did you make for dinner? Let me know. I'm intrigued. What was I supposed to do? Oh, grab some rosemary. What'd you make? Pop it in the comments. I'm looking. You know, as soon as I walk away, you're going to say it. And then I'm going to miss the comment. I said the next live, I'm going to bribe my daughter to, like, watch the comments. <laughs> oh, that's so beautiful. What? Okay, that's a good question. What always makes me smile? You guys. 
you guys, full English breakfast. Nice. What's an English breakfast consider, uh, considered? Bell pepper. Oh, nice. Hello. I'm coming to your house, Kinsley. I love steak, as you guys know. Let me know I'm cutting my rosemary plant. Hold on. So it took just a little snippet from the rosemary, and I'm going to pop that into the, the, the rice right on the top. I'm going to cover it. Oh, barbecue chicken legs. Nice. Broccoli rice and cucumber salad. Beautiful. Okay, two sausages, fried bread, two pieces of bacon, beans, and two fried eggs. Very nice. What kind of beans do you use for breakfast? I think it is so interesting being American and like listening to other people, um, like how other meals are prepared and like what is served at what time. So like if a traditional American would be like beans for breakfast, like what's about what's that about? But I love how other countries are able to like there's no rules to things like that. So what kind of beans do you do you have with a traditional breakfast if you don't mind me asking? When you okay, tell me. So when you dated him, what were you gonna say? Uh Missy. Oh, hi. Okay, so like baked beans, like a sweet bean. Interesting. Hmm. There you go. That tells you. So my my stepfather was, he's passed on, but was Nigerian. I guess he is Nigerian, but he's gone now. Um, <clears throat> make me beans and sausage. There you go. Like beans are like very infamous for everybody's culture except ours. We had croissants and coffee for breakfast. There you go. I had pancakes. Kira made um, pancakes with a little bit of banana puree and um, there was something else on the plate that I'm forgetting right now. What else was on the plate? I think it was just the bananas and the pancakes. It really wasn't that long ago. Um, am I forgetting something, Kira? I think I did. It's a Oh, I think we're used to that. Honey for me. No, you know what? We add a little extra sugar and the sugar. So, oh, syrup. So we, instead of using honey, we have maple syrup. But I have to be honest with you. So, and I keep saying I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cook pancakes with you guys one day. Um, because when I make pancakes, what I do is I do use a mix, but I like to doctor it up a little bit so i add a little dash of cinnamon i add a little extra sugar i add some flour and and i use milk instead of using water so by doing that by adding that little bit of extra sugar it helps it to brown and it's sweetened a little bit more and also um we love infusing our pancakes with fruit so I, what i will do is is anyone having dessert or cocktails? I'm baking a cake after I finish going live with you guys. I have my swan's cake mix right here. I'm gonna make, um, Kira wants a yellow cake with chocolate frosting. So I'm going to be making that as soon as I get off of live. And once I get this done, I'll make her a cake. So what was I saying? Um, geez, I get so distracted. <laughs> it's like so many conversations going on. Somebody remind me what I was saying. Oh, pancakes. So what I like to do is, you know how like when you get fruit, it's about to go bad? And I do this with everything. So it's, it's at that point where it's like super sweet and it's about to go bad. So with bananas, what I will do is, let me show you, because I have some in the freezer, is instead of letting them go bad, I slice them up just like this. Red wine with every meal. Love that. I need some wine right now. So what I do with my bananas Instead of letting them go bad and not being able to use them, right when they're at that point of sweetness, I slice them like this, put them on a parchment sheet, throw them in the freezer for 24 hours, and then I will take these out and add them to Ziploc bags. So whenever you're making smoothies or banana pancakes or anything like that, you have really sweet, ripe bananas ready to go. So that is what... So that's what she used today. She used overripe or like super ripe bananas in the pancakes so then you didn't need syrup all of that to tell you no we didn't use syrup i know but i like to like you know give you guys a little i hope that you find these things helpful because 
because I know when I first figured it out, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so genius. Why was I not doing that before? You know what? This I have this one piece of chicken in here that I want to brown a little bit more. I love your channel. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy to hear that because I'm going to brown this one piece. Of, I have like a couple pieces that didn't crisp up as much as I wanted them to. So I'm just going to re-add them to the pan and let them get a little bit more brown. Table or a tray in front of you. Okay, so I do not... Okay, I have to be honest. That is a great question about the TV. I don't watch TV, like, a lot at all. So, we are definitely food at the table type people. What's up, Keish? Happy Easter, sweetheart. Thanks for joining the live. We eat every meal at the table. Hey, April, how are you? Um, yeah, so we eat every meal at the table. We do, we never eat in front of the TV. Like, we are not TV trade. No. We eat every meal in front of the TV, I mean, in front of the table or at the table. And we turn the TV off. We don't watch TV while we eat, but what we do do is, what we do do is we will listen to YouTube has some really amazing, um, we you exactly family time is so important so youtube has some really amazing jazz channels where they just play jazz music randomly kiera my daughter found them actually and she has like a whole list of channels that she loves so that's what we do there's a tv in my kitchen so we don't have to sit in the living room there you go you know what's so funny so my uncle's like that you know uncle craig uncle craig is like that he has a little tv in his living room in his kitchen and he watches me okay here's here's probably a shocker for you guys i don't have a tv in my bedroom like there's actually only one tv in my house and it's in the living room <laughs> we are not tv people at all um and so people it's so funny when i tell people that they're like well, what do you do? Um, my friend, though, exactly. So, and people ask me that all the time, like, well, what do you do if you don't have a TV in, like, every room or a TV in your bedroom? And I'm like, I don't know. I guess we read. We talk a lot. Um, we read. We talk. We dance. We, we, just, we just have fun. She does clothes hauls for us. Exactly. So, I don't need any TV. That's true. Doing clothes hauls for you guys is like, it's a, literally a full-time job. So yeah, but no, what are you cooking? So I am making lemon butter chicken with um, rosemary infused rice. Come on now. Just trying to negative y'all. Oh, that's so sweet, Richard. Exactly. I love that. Missing anything. Exactly. So it is okay so i do watch um we watch <laughs> this is gonna be funny so kiara and i literally watch tv shows all day about cooking so we will well, on tv shows youtube videos like so we will not all day but you know what i'm saying like when we do watch tv it's literally either we're watching the greatest bake-off is that what it's called the Greatest Bake Off with Mary, Mary Berry. Now, mind you, we don't watch the most recent episodes because we don't like the new people. We like the original people, Paul, Mary, and then the two girls. Um, so we only watch like the old seasons of those. And we watch a lot of Gordon Ramsay videos because we love the way he cooks and whatever. And Kiara found this new thing on YouTube, which is, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. I only use Ruko. We don't have cable. Pinterest has new sites oh really i just started back up my my pinterest account so or like pinterest for like this thing for candy's land oh you love gordon girl gordon is my man right when it comes to cooking i love his um i love his focus he's so focused and so skilled and if you watch his look at this he would be like what is she doing right now you know what I love about Gordon Ramsay is if you watch his YouTube channel, he does all of these like master classes and they're free. And he teaches you the skill of cooking, which is so important. And I don't think a lot of people realize how much goes into cooking. Like, for instance, he showed how to like properly slice an onion, how to properly slice a bell pepper and get like zero waste. 
And those things were so helpful to me as, you know, a, not like a chef or anything. So I love watching his channel for those reasons because the care he puts into cooking. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. I actually put up on, on Instagram, um, I had put up a poll and I was asking people what were they watching on Friday night and a bunch of people said they were watching Orthodox, Unorthodox. If you know the name of this TV show and I'm saying it wrong, please correct me because I didn't get a chance to check it out. But I, I mean, a bunch of people were watching this. I think it's either Unorthodox or Orthodox, one of the two. Um, but it was like a new TV series, I'm assuming, because a lot of people were watching it at the same time. I don't know what it's about, but that was a suggestion that I had received multiple times. All right. Okay, not healthy and tasty. <laughs> as long as it's good. It doesn't always have to be healthy. Like, I mean, I, we eat a lot of, um, we don't eat meat because Piera is taking on more of a vegan, uh, vegetarian lifestyle. So we will eat meat probably once a week. And then the rest of the week, we're just doing like fish and vegetables and stuff like that. Oh, beautiful. Keish, have a good time. Enjoy your Easter egg hunt. That's so wonderful. Thanks for joining, girl. Uh, Richard saying bye, Keish. Look at that. He's so good. I love you guys. Oh, that's so beautiful. Keish is amazing. She's like such a good supporter. Like she's always saying what's up on Instagram and over here. So now my chicken is done. Fried and seared. So now I'm going to take this pan and I'm going to, I'm, so I'm going to take this pan and I'm going to run off, like pour out the grease. And then I'm going to add a little bit of butter and olive oil to the pan. And I'm going to simmer up some uh, garlic. So that is next on the agenda. Let's put this here. All right. Let's pour that off. It's amazing how quiet the kitchen gets. And there's nothing in the frying pan. This is fun. I'm so glad that you guys hop on and you enjoy it. If you enjoy these type of videos, let me know. Throw a little heart in the in the comments right now. I love that. I love knowing that you're here. It was so funny. The other day I went to cook. No. Call it a fa faucet. Forset. Wait, what are we talking about? Hey, what's up? Oh, April. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's so funny. I was cooking the other... Richard, clarify what you're talking about because I don't know what it is. A forest. Oh, like, wait, no. That was you, Kinsley. Richard, re retype your question one more time because I think I missed what you were asking. <laughs> um, now, olive oil, little butter, into our pan, and then we're gonna saute up some garlic. What was it? Probably spelled it wrong. It means, oh crap. Did I just say the word? <laughs> this is so fun. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I don't know what word you're saying. Did I say it? Sink, oh, he's saying sink. Oh, why do we call it a faucet? <laughs> I don't know why we call it that. Is it not supposed to be a faucet? What is it supposed to be? I'm gonna take a half a tablespoon of butter, by the way, just so you know. So what do you call it in, in, in the UK? Richard, what do you call a faucet in the UK? So we're gonna do a little butter in our pan. We're gonna leave that, oh wait, no wonder this wasn't moving. It wasn't on. There we go. <clears throat> Maybe there's a delay. Oh, a tap. You know what's so funny that you say that? My mom says, say, what's up? What's up? Tell her, say hi. Um, it's so funny. I don't know why we call it a faucet. I'm sure there's some like un unorthodox reason. I don't know. But I think it's funny how people in, 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 so it's so funny, Kiara was just saying that. We were watching a video and the Duchess was on and Kiara was like, I can't understand what she's saying. Like she couldn't keep up with what she was saying. 
Now, I was able to understand what she was saying, but it, it, there are some words that it's like, what? Why does that mean that? Like a tap for us would probably be talking about like beer. There's so many variations. This is true. <clears throat> this is true. So here in the US, you have to, I'm gonna throw in about a tablespoon of, okay, okay, Kinsley, we're here for you. Tablespoon of um, garlic, minced garlic. And you can add more if you like. So I did a tablespoon and a half because I really like garlic in the butter. Now, <clears throat> it's funny that you said that because in school here, you have to take foreign language as a part of the graduation requirements. And I can remember trying to um, pass Spanish and everyone, and my daughter speaks fluently in Spanish, so, which is funny. I could not get it for the help, like for anything I could not freaking get Spanish. So I ended up taking like sign language. Um, so, but it is funny because my being that my daughter knows Spanish and was also, she's learning um, Portuguese. So in learning those two languages, she said how difficult the English language really is. And like you said, there's no like standard. Things can mean five different things and there's really no rhyme or reason why it does. It's funny. But I think also there are some words that are used in the British terms that just don't make any sense to me. Like when we watch some of the cooking shows, I see that a lot. Okay, now before I get distracted, you say elevator and you say lift, right? So now our garlic is browning really well. Now with garlic, you have to be careful. You do not want to let it overcook. So now I'm going to take that nice, beautiful, exactly. I knew, see, that nice, beautiful brown garlic. Oh my gosh, that's what you want. Just the fragrance. Now we're going to add, before I get distracted, we're going to add in my spinach to that mixture. And like I told you guys, I would normally use fresh spinach, but they didn't have any in the stores. And this is just happens to be some spinach that I had in the freezer for smoothies. I like to buy, um, I do this a lot. It's crazy. I like to buy fresh vegetables and then I will put them into freezer bags for later. So especially for my smoothies, I kind of meal prep them ahead of time. And I measure out like a cup of spinach, a cup of whatever and then I throw it in the freezer. And that way, when it's time to make a smoothie, you say olive. So what do you say? I'll save you olive. Oh, okay. I didn't get that one, Richard. You lost me. <laughs> oh, because I said spinach. Oh, it was a, uh, what was it? Popeyes? Oh, that's so cute. It took me a second, yeah. <laughs> you're showing, I know, you're showing our age right now. That's so funny. The kids now, the kids now don't know anything about Popeye, Popeye and us and Olive. That's so funny. All right, so spinach garlic is in there. We're going to toss in our chicken broth. I was trying to think. Chicken broth next. Or in this case, I'm using vegetable broth, but you definitely can use chicken broth here. And then let me turn that off. And then we're going to add in our lemon, one whole lemon. <laughs> You're confused. I know, Richard went old. He, 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 he went back, he, he gave us a throwback cartoon. <laughs> I remember it 100%. There's so many things that like, it's so funny. So having a 16 year old, I can tell you, there are definitely references that she has no clue what I'm talking about. Um, when I mention certain things. So lemon, we're going to squeeze that right into the mixture. And I have my handy dandy lemon squeezer. So pretty much everything is going into this pot at this point. I can't see, what did it say? Oh, you think American cartoons are the best? I know that they were good back in the days. Tom and Jerry and um, I'm trying to think 
what were some of my favorites you know what's so funny though i have to be honest so i miss like mr rogers <laughs> and i know that was really corny and that may have even been before your days that might have even been before your days uh richard but i miss um yeah flintstone scooby-doo exactly they did bring them back though so like they have them on like the retro channels oh my gosh do you remember the jetsons oh i remember the jetsons that one was so good okay so now our mixture of what is this we have spinach garlic vegetable broth lemon juice all of that yeah exactly exactly i missed that the kids now don't know anything about it kiera was watching she was actually watching a cartoon the other day it was like i forget what those things are called it was one of those um like japanese style cartoons i was like this is not funny so i'm going to be adding in about a half a cup of heavy whipping cream if it decides to come out of the container hold on anime thank you yes she was watching anime i was like this is weird okay wait i think my heavy whipping cream might be bad but the date is not bad i don't know okay we're gonna switch out to a different cream hold on i'm gonna put this one to the side because maybe it's just me but i think it might be bad let's see I do have regular milk, shockingly, because I don't normally buy this, but yeah, she was watching some anime that was about like gambling and like, it was just weird. I don't know, but she liked it. So I'm like, no judgment, but I don't want to watch that. So I'm going to take a half a cup of milk, half a cup of milk and add it right into this mixture that's just gonna give us some cream we're gonna bring that back to a boil all right we're good here we're just gonna mix that up so that it comes to a nice thick consistency and then we're going to pour this mixture over our chicken and add it to the oven to bake making an absolute mess at this point cool yeah i love it so how long are you oh you know what richard that's a good question how how long are they do they guys have do they have you guys on a um the food looks good thank you do they have you on a shelter in place like where no one can like leave their homes or are you allowed to go to work and kind of live life normally so now i'm going to pour this over my chicken and then that's going into the oven You're eating cheese, cheese and grapes. I hope you have some wine to go with those cheese and grapes right now. I hope so. All right, so we're gonna make sure we get all those good bits. Countryside, so we are away from a lot of people. Okay, the cities are on lockdown. Did they say when, when the lockdown will be lifted? By chance, I'm just curious. So it's very interesting to see what are your favorite cheeses? Okay, so I am a huge Parmesan, obviously. I love Gruyere, Gru, how do you say, Gruyere? I don't know, I'm so bad with like pronunciations. All right, so this is all going. And, and I like to just, what is this? Guys, I'm sorry, I'm so distracted. There was something just ran past my window. Oh, it's a dog, okay um i'm like what was that uh richard i'm so sorry i missed that comment 
and I wanted to see what you said, but it went away too quick. Can you can you can you type it one more time if you don't mind? <laughs> you like Swiss with grapes? Nice. My daughter loves Swiss cheese. I like creamier cheeses, so I typically get like um, anything that goes in that creamy kind of like place and i'm not really good with cheeses what i do i'm being honest is i just go to the store and i ask the people and they always kind of throw me in the right direction okay so it's so as of right now it's until tomorrow and then it's going to be reviewed and possibly extended is did i get that right okay where's my top this smells so good guys and i love to tell you what it smells like because obviously you're not here with me but basically now this mix of our chicken spinach garlic butter cream all that good stuff is going into the oven oh i forgot look at that speaking of cheese you should put some, i know that's so funny i just said that speaking of cheese i forgot to add parmesan it's going in there now i forgot to add it let me grab some oh, this one is this is an aged parmesan cheese what's wrong oh bells i'm sorry babe i can't take you out right now This one is imported, but I'm not even sure where. I just got it from like the imported section of my Mariano's. All right, so I'm gonna take a brick of cheese and I'm just gonna sh like, sh what's it called? Shred a little bit of that. And then I'll add that on top and then we'll pop it into the oven, so. And let it cook for about 20 minutes. Thank you so much for everybody who joined. Uh, exactly, imported aged cheese are amazing and even if you're like me and you have no clue about like you know the differences in the quality <laughs> i will say that it's typically um it just makes everything better and i think the fact that it's aged also makes things better and richard to answer your question so do you mean is she a lap dog as in her size or is she a lap dog as in she sits on my lap because she is <laughs> She's about 20 pounds, all muscle, and she does not like to cuddle when she doesn't want to cuddle. So she doesn't do the whole like lap dog thing. But if you looked at her, you'd probably think she was a lap dog, which is hilarious. Really stinky, but delicious. That's hilarious. I don't have any, um, what's it called? Aged Swiss right now, but I will, Put that on the list snuggles so oh that's so sweet yeah no she's not a snuggler like she will when she wants to so now our cheese is adding Whew, look at that cheese is joining the mixture life is gonna be great this this is gonna be delicious i don't know about you guys but if you add cheese to pretty much anything it makes it good cheese and butter is like you don't know how to cook just add cheese and butter and someone will love it don't worry um yeah she okay so when we when we got bella because she's a french bulldog if anybody has a frenchie drop it drop a heart in the comments you'll you already know how they are i thought that she was going to be a super affectionate lazy like you know not high maintenance at all so tops on our dutch ovens going in 400 degree oven and we're going to we're gonna cook this for 20 minutes all right that's going in there and then i'm gonna check on my rice to make sure i have not burned it what did you ask about pizza and chinese food all right so i'm taking off this for a second i just want to check the rice which i infused if you weren't here with a little bit of rosemary by just placing it on top and covering the top so i placed the rosemary on top of the rice while it was cooking while it was steaming oh favorite food out of that and um that just is going to help it absorb that aroma so it won't actually be any herbs sorry it won't be any herbs in the rice but it will have that aromatic smell and flavor of the rosemary all right i'm supposed to do something with the rice 
Wait guys, I'm really not great at cooking rice, but there's a trick. Oh, Kiera, I, I need a lifeline. And to answer the question, Chinese food, 100%, more than pizza for sure, no. Um, what am I supposed to do with the rice? There was a trick to the rice to make it so it doesn't stick. What did she say? Mary, she wrote, made the rice and she did something to it. She didn't rinse it, but she did something to remove the starch. Who was it? Oh, man. Oh. Anybody make rice? <laughs> Anybody like a rice pro? Because my rice is done. But there is a trick to making sure that it's not sticky. And I can't remember what it is right now. I never promised to be a pro. I just told you I will help you guys make good food. I can't remember. Goodness, I, we learned this trick yesterday while watching, watching Mary Mary, Mary Mary make rice. What did she do? There was something at the end. Do you guys hear Bella whining in the back? She's so funny. I'm not a cooker, so that you don't know the answer. No, it's okay. Don't worry. It'll be fine. I mean, the rice is fine. It, you know how, like, I don't know if you guys understand, it but. It says you're supposed to let it rest. Let it rest? Yeah. Okay, whatever. We'll just leave it. Mary Berry is too old. No, she is not. Mary Berry is amazing. <laughs> oh I know. She's like 90, I think. But she's still cooking. Like, she's still getting her cook on. She's oh, she's 85. My bad, Mary. My bad. She's amazing. 85, and she still cooks like a freaking army of, like, she can, she can throw down. <gasps> we forgot to add our capers. I'll add those. Don't worry. All right, all of this stuff is going back into the fridge and we're gonna wait on the chicken. <laughs> this is where real celebrity like chefs would already have. Who is Mary? Okay, I'll explain that in one, in one second. Hold that question, pin that question. This is where real celebrity chefs would already have like a pot that they pull out and say, ah, and this is what it's gonna look like. But I am not a celebrity chef, so I do not have that. So we're going to have to wait. I think what I'm gonna do if you guys don't want to sit on with me for the next 20 minutes, um, we will... <gasps> don't say that! Richard, you are being banned from the chat now. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you don't want to, if you don't want to watch and wait for the next 20 minutes for this to come out, I will pop a picture on the community tab if you guys are interested in seeing what the final is and you don't want to stay. If you do want to stay, then feel free to join the conversation that Richard's about to get kicked out of because he's hating on Mary Berry. So to answer your question, Kinsley, Mary Berry is a phenomenal baker and chef um, from the UK. <laughs> you have a little time to waste. Okay, perfect. Me too, girl, I got nowhere to go. Um, she's a chef from the UK and she's so old school. She's, she's again, 85 and she's been cooking since she was like in her 20s. But when I tell you, this woman has like, she just has such personality. I don't know, I love her. Richard, how can you not like Mary Berry? That is so weird. She's so nice. Literally, Kiara and I will not watch the newest, greatest Bake Off because she's not on it. It's just like, I don't wanna watch this. Where's Mary? <laughs> oh girl. My baby loves Julia Childs. Kiara, somebody just said <laughs> she loves Julia Childs. Oh my God. Yeah, so Mary Berry's from the UK. Where is Julia from? I don't know. America. Julia is America, American, but she was. Uh, so Richard, thank you so much for joining. You definitely kept us entertained. I love you and stay safe, okay? Most importantly, thank you. Um, so, uh, thanks Kinsley for saying bye to Richard. That's so sweet. You guys are so awesome. So Kiara loves Julia Childs. Talk about, like, she loves her. We were watching, what is the name of that movie, KK? Julia, Julia to, and she's in the bedroom now. She's listening. Oh, uh, so sweet. Um, yeah, it's Julia and Julie. We watched that the other night on Friday, on Friday night. Yes, she's amazing too. Um, 
we're actually planning to cook one of her meals. So we watched the movie on Friday and we were like, oh my gosh, we should try one of her recipes. So we're going to find one that we both can agree on. And, and we're gonna do that. KK, can you come let Bella out? She's, she wants to come out. All right, what else do we have to do? So I think, I think Julia might be, maybe that's who gave the tip on the rice. I can't remember. I'm, let me tell you, I watch these cooking shows, guys, and it's mostly because I want to find out like their tricks and tips, right? Like, so like if you watch the, um, I went live on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on all platforms, just so you know, I know I do different content for every platform. I don't know why it's like that, but it just, I think it's because I just kind of get into a mood and I just create content, right? Like I'm naturally creating content with you guys. So like, I really thoroughly enjoy these cooking sessions on YouTube. I think they're so fun. And, and when I'm cooking by myself, girl, that's okay. Martha Stewart is the queen, like bow down everybody else. Um, so anyways, when I cook with you guys on YouTube, like when I'm cooking by myself and you're not here, it feels so weird. It's like, wait, but we're my people. Like I want to, but then sometimes I just want to cook and like get out of the kitchen and, and whatever. And it's not like anything spectacular. Maybe I'm just making eggs, so I don't do it. Um, <laughs> but the other day I went live on Instagram and I was making pasta. And I wasn't even going live to show them how to make pasta. I just was in the middle of cooking, sorry, cooking and decided to go live. And um, we ended up making pasta. One tip when you're making your pasta, and maybe you guys don't know this, so I'll share it with you, is you can add, once you finish your pasta, right, and you pour off the water. You know how sometimes when you leave it in the air, it gets sticky and it like sticks together? What you're supposed to do is add a drizzle of olive oil on it. You don't have to rinse it. Just pour off the water, add a drizzle of olive oil and then kind of like toss your pasta and that will prevent it from sticking to each other while you're waiting for your sauce or whatever like it just won't stick to each it won't stick to itself which is like such a great tip and i found that from watching these cooking shows that we watch every day all day <laughs> um yeah and i don't there is something about this rice that i'm supposed to do but i cannot remember so it'll be, um, I'm sure that'll be a trick that I'll, I'll share at a later time. The live is going, it keeps on pausing. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what it is? It's, it's the internet surveys. Like everyone's on internet. And so if it's busy, it does that. I apologize. And another thing I need to apologize for, and I did apologize about this in my last live video, but I'll say it one more time for anyone that's new to my channel. The last video, not the most recent video, but the video before that, it was an eloquy haul. It only showed a percentage of the outfit. The weather is also bad. Oh, that could be it too. It is gray, very gray here. So that could be another reason why it's doing that, Kinsley. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, the video. So by the way, if you're a new viewer to my channel, then I apologize thoroughly about the eloquy video. I recorded that video in full and Anyone who has ever recorded a video for YouTube will tell you it takes hours to record those. Like it takes me like two hours to record those eight minute hauls that you guys watch. And that does not include the time that it takes for me to edit the videos. That's just for me purely to record the looks. I didn't realize until after I had already recorded that video that it only showed a percentage of the outfit. And I was already done recording, broken down, like everything. So that's why that video does cut off some of the outfits. But the other part is you can go to my YouTube. Um, okay. Oh, goodness. Be careful. Um, if you go over to my, my Instagram page, and I tried to go to the community page on the YouTube app and add all of those same looks to the community tab. So if you want to see what the full look looks like on me for the Eloquy haul, go to the YouTube community tab or check it out on my YouTube. I apologize, that won't happen again. I've corrected it and as you saw on the most recent haul for Chic Soul, it does show the whole outfit. So I figured it out. It just was a new setup and it happens. Some of you have been so thankful, like some of you have been so um, 
understanding about it and then some have let me know which i don't have a problem with i, I appreciate you letting me know too because had i not known that it would i would have continued to do it and you know that would have been bad but i did i did see that it was an issue and so i've corrected it for future videos all right i think i said that and i think my rice is pretty much done hopefully it'll be good and then let me check my chicken because we did pretty much cook it so i think it'll be pretty good oh my goodness this looks freaking delicious i'm going to add in my capers now i'm gonna lift it up so you guys can see because it would be a shame wait it would be an absolute shame not to show you what this looks like but let me just add some of these in just to give it a little little pop and capers just add like a little tanginess to it a little pop of tang let me show you what this looks like i'm gonna i am going to oh my gosh this looks delicious look at that where's my where are my thingamajiggers these thingamajiggers and i'm gonna let this cook for about 10 more minutes but look at that wow isn't that oh my gosh so that's just the chicken in the butter lemon butter sauce <laughs> it's girl it's gonna be so good i already know like i always say that and i guess it's because i i know the flavors are gonna come together well but yeah so this is this is gonna be delicious over the rice and the nice part about it is because you have that sauce you can just drizzle the sauce over the rice i'm just taking and basting the chicken so it doesn't dry out and the nice part is remember it's two layers of oh i almost did that i almost did that i almost picked it up with my hand all right back into the oven we'll give it another 10 minutes Give it another 10 minutes in the oven and then I'm going to plate this up for you guys and try a little bit. So, whew. all right, so if you have any last minute questions, pop them in the chat. Um, if you'd like to see me create or create, look at me, cook. If you'd like me to cook any specific meal, let me know in the chat right now. If you have any suggestions, anything you've wanted to learn how to cook, let me know. This is a good time to do it and i am going to give you a heads up that the next thing that i will be cooking i think will be i made oh that's what i made on instagram and i'm gonna make it this week or maybe this maybe the end of this week is a um beef bolognese and pasta oh my gosh it was so delicious guys so if you never had bolognese sauce and i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right it's an italian um tomato sauce and Kinsley, you have to learn how to cook, babe. You got to take a little bit and, you know, and do it up with your mama's permission, of course. Um, so I had made it last week and I just wanted to try the recipe and make sure I knew what I was doing before I came on here and tried to show you guys. But it came out so delicious. So it basically was a tomato sauce with like cream in it, infused in it, and it was beef. And then we put that over spaghetti. And it was delicious it was so good and it really was like basic ingredients it was a little bit of chopped tomatoes uh tomato sauce which you could use tomato paste and um it was delicious so i'm gonna make that at some point for you guys because i do want to share that recipe and it was super easy and it was such a great alternative to buying a store-bought tomato sauce which sometimes those can be like a little bland and also the cost of it the cost of it the cost of what it takes to um buy a store-bought tomato sauce you can make a really good one from scratch at home that's like 10 times more delicious so i'm going to share that recipe with you guys coming up soon so if you haven't turned on your notifications turn those on and it'll be a lot simpler than this one a lot quicker and what else is coming up did you, if you guys haven't checked out she calls chic soul hall which is up on my channel now check that out for the fashion peeps and next week's video 
which will be on Tuesday, will be a Fabletics haul. So um, I have been talking about this Fabletics haul for a while and I just hadn't had a chance to like film it for you guys, but I did. I pulled out five of my favorite Fabletics looks. And if you haven't tried Fabletics yet, you, I don't know what you're waiting on. Their stuff is great, like legit. They make some amazing athleisure and their prices are great. If you have never tried it, you can sign up using my code, uh, my link. It's in, it's on my community tab or it's also on my Instagram. You can get two pair of leggings for $24 as the initial VIP sign up offer. And you won't regret it because their stuff is great. But if you have questions about Fabletics, I'm going to be answering a lot of those questions in an upcoming video, which will go live on Tuesday. So make sure you have on your notifications. I'm sharing April's newest looks, two of my faves, and a whole bunch of like other, one, other ones that I really, really love and that are still available on their site to purchase. So don't want to miss that. I also have a poll that will be going, actually, I'm going to put this up as soon as I, okay, so as soon as I disconnect this live, go over to, okay, I have to be bit gentle, more gentle with this. As soon as I end this live, I am going to post a poll on the community tab and I would love it if you would go over there and answer the poll. I am going to be asking what you guys would like to see come up next on the channel. My, <laughs> my rack is empty. I don't have any collabs or, um... I did place a couple of orders that I'm hoping will come in soon, um, but I need some suggestions for May. Well, actually it's like the end of April, early May of what you guys would like to see on the channel. And I love getting your input. So as soon as I finish this live, I'm gonna go pop that question in the community tab on my channel. So if you go to my channel, there'll be tabs at the top and one of them says community. Click on that and there's going to be a poll where it's going to ask, what would you like to see next? Drop the name of the brand or if you want to see swimsuits, if you want to see jeans, if you want to see summer dresses, whatever it is, whatever suggestion you are like, oh, I just wish she would review this. This is your time to tell me and I'm listening. So as soon as this is over with, I'm going to go pop that question in and um, I think that's it guys i think that's all i got for you so let me plate this food which i'm sure is going to be delicious so we're gonna take our jasmine infused rice i feel like the rice is so fancy because it has like the jasmine i'm sorry rosemary why i kept seeing jasmine that's so weird it's rosemary infused rice it smells so it smells like rosemary so i'm gonna take that i have no clue why i kept saying jasmine that's so funny I'm gonna take the rose, rosemary, toss that to the side. We don't need that anymore. And then I'm gonna take my rice and plate it. Oh, look, it's not sticky. Maybe it's patience. Maybe patience is the, the key to good rice. <laughs> and I've never had that before. Wow, this is the best rice I've ever made, ever. Wow. And it was so simple. It smells so good. Like, if you ever want to just take your rice and toss it, like, and knock it up a notch, I don't know, that sounds like emerald. If you want to take it up a notch, just add some fresh herbs in there. You can do rosemary, you can do basil, you can do, um, uh, you can do thyme, you can do pretty much any herb and just toss it into the rice. Either you can infuse it like I did, or you can actually chop it up and then add it into the rice. And it just takes like a bland, simple rice and just knocks it up. Knocks it up, takes it up a notch. Okay, stop, your girl is getting, she getting tired, that's what it is. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab my chicken out of the oven, just plating that. All right, perfect, got that. Now we're gonna grab chicken Ooh, out of the oven. Oh. If you guys don't know this, look at me, I'm like, what are you doing? If you don't know the story about this pot, this is a Staub um, cast iron Dutch oven pan. Oh my gosh, look at that, guys. Now it's just come together. So that's our chicken and the lemon butter sauce. Woo. This is gonna be so good. I can, it smells so good. That's why, that's how you know. All right, so I'm gonna take a piece of chicken, plate that right on top of our, rice and then i'm going to take and spoon some of that delicious sauce 
and some spinach. Oh, that's gonna be good. Good. Look at that. Now, you could take and add, let me show you. I'm gonna clean my plate. That's our chicken, guys. Isn't it delicious? Oh my God, look at that, beautiful. Now, you could take and add a little cheese, more cheese if you want, if you like it really cheesy, you could just add right now a little cheese to the top. That would be fine. You could obviously serve this with some more fresh greens. I think the fact that it has the spinach in it is okay. And, and the rice is fine. So like, we're just doing like chicken and rice. So let's taste it. Oh, it smells, it smells so good. And I'm not gonna take a big bite like I did the last time. It looks delicious, right girl? It's so, I mean, it smells so good. Like I already know it's gonna be good because it just like, oh. so good. So the lemon, the butter, you can get the little kind of tanginess from the, the capers, creamy from the, the, oh my gosh, just the sauce on the rice. I haven't even tried the chicken yet, but just the sauce on the rice is delicious, okay? I mean, grab a knife. I'm going to cut through this chicken. And by the way, I don't think I said this at the beginning, but I use chicken thighs and they are super tender right now. Oh, look, the child is, is rummaging. She might be coming out. Maybe I can give her another off-camera taste so you guys don't think that I'm um, hyping up my own food. Okay, so I'm going to take a nice little bite of the chicken now. Try not to burn my mouth. Mm. That's delicious. Oh, my gosh. This is so good, guys. Mm-hmm. It is so good. So, if you try this recipe, oh, she's here. She's going to try it. Okay. You know how this goes. Kiara doesn't like to be on camera, so she's not going to come on camera, but I'm going to cut her a piece. Um, so, if you guys try this recipes, recipe, please at me on Facebook or Instagram. Send me an email. Drop a comment down and let me know what you think because this is delicious and I just want to know I'm helping you guys learn how to cook so i'm taking this nice bite i'm gonna spoon feed it to my kid off camera because she won't be on camera all right be honest and you have to make noise so they know you're there i'm there i'm here <laughs> you're here okay what do you think it's really good i like it you like it she <laughs> Oh, so you need another bite yes. to see if it's really good? Yes. Because the first bite wasn't enough? It's very lemon. I like it. The lemon, right? What else do you taste coming through? I need another bite so I can tell. <laughs> so, she's so full of it, guys. She is so full of it. Okay, here. Look, we love food in this house, so you, you have to understand. Here, come on. They can't see you. I wouldn't do that to you. I know you don't want to be on. I know. They can't see you. Don't worry. What else do you get? Like... A creamy flavor a little bit you put parmesan cheese oh, okay right. good parmesan mm -hmm. the lemon the chicken is tender it's really good right the chicken is like melt in the mouth good mm -hmm. it's really good I like it. and it's just like the lemon and the butter is just like this freshness yeah right super good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. good job mom thank you all right guys you heard it from the off-camera kid this is a delicious meal I hope that you enjoyed this live because I absolutely did. Um, it's so beautiful to see you guys. I know it's dinner time. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Until next time, go live life out loud and then come back and tell your girl all about it. I love you guys. Be blessed. Happy Easter. Aw, so beautiful.